Hi everybody, it's Logan here at Hidden Villa. And it's springtime right now. This is one of my favorite seasons. So many things are happening. The grass is growing, butterflies are coming out, flowers are starting to bloom. But most of all in the spring, my favorite part of spring is that birds are starting to build their nests, lay eggs, and raise their babies. And so, first question I have for you all is, what kind of nests do birds build? Some birds build their nests out on the branches, just right on the edge of a branch. And there's a hummingbird nest right here that I'm about to point out that just build it right on the branch. It's hard to see because hummingbirds decorate their nests with moss and lichen and it camouflages, but there's a little bundle of a bird's nest right there. So some birds even build their nests on the ground. Right here we have a bird that built its nest on the ground. This is a sparrow nest, and it built it right under this fence post amongst these stalks of mint. You can see it right down there. Just a little bowl of grass and animal hair. So this bird built its nest right on the ground. And some birds build their nests inside holes made in trees. So woodpeckers a few years ago made a hole in this tree to make a nest and then they moved out and the next year that's for all sorts of other birds who are called cavity nesters because they nest in tree cavities or tree holes. And this tree behind us right here, in my time at Hidden Villa I've seen probably seven or eight different species of birds build their nests in here. So it's really important habitat for the birds so they can make more babies and have more birds. But the thing is, is that cavity nesters or hole nesters, those species of birds, their populations are going down. That's because if this tree was, at, was in your yard, you'd probably cut it down because it's a dead tree and that tree might fall on important things like cars or, or people and, or houses. And so most people, if they have a dead tree in their yard, they, uh, they take it down. And here at Hidden Villa, we've been able to leave these dead trees up, but there's also other places where we've had to take them down. And that would mean that the birds didn't have any place to nest unless we help them out. What we do is we build nest boxes that help the birds have nests and habitats. And while sometimes we're able to leave some dead trees standing, we can also have a lot more nest boxes and we can help our birds live, raise their young, lay eggs, and do all that good stuff that they do in springtime. So let's take a look at some of our bird nest boxes and see what's going on today. And so we're here at one of the Hidden Villa nest boxes. And uh, I wanted to talk really quickly about how people have designed these nest boxes so that it gives the birds exactly what they need. And uh, birds build their nests in cavities and trees because it offers protection from predators. Things that would eat them like snakes or ravens or raccoons. And um, so right here we have the same thing. This roof is so far out that if a raccoon was standing over here, it couldn't reach in and grab the, um, the, the baby birds. And also that this hole right here is just big enough so that the, the blue birds that live in here can get in, but other bigger birds like crows couldn't. And it's hard to see, but there's holes on the bottom here which allow um, just uh, air to circulate so that the birds stay healthy on the inside as well. And so people have been watching birds for a while and they've designed these kind of boxes to give the birds exactly what they need. And so that the birds can lay their, lay their eggs here and those eggs can hatch into babies and those babies can be fed and grow up into adult birds. Last year at Hidden Villa, we had 48 birds, baby birds born in our nest boxes that made it out into the world to do all the things that birds do. So let's take a look inside this nest box and see what's going on right now. Another feature of these nest boxes is that you can open them up and that allows someone like me, uh, who is a nest box checker, to check on them once a week and make sure that we can count how many birds are born. And if, if something goes wrong, we can figure out why, uh, what went wrong and how we can fix it. So there's a nest in here and even more exciting the mother bird is on the nest. She is sitting on her eggs to keep them warm. And this is so important to her that she doesn't even move when I open up the nest to look. So here we are at another one of these nest boxes. And these are boxes that you could put up in your backyard too if you wanted to. 
I wanted to point out two other things about this nest box that if you were to put up a bird box in your backyard, you should keep into consideration too. One is it's not painted any bright colors. It just looks like a, like a tree. It's just the wood. And also you probably have seen bird houses that have a little stick that can come out on front. Like the bird would want to hang out on a porch or something. And that's something I think people think that birds would want to do. But, but what that stick means is just, that just is a place for a bigger bird, like a blue jay or a crow to land and then eat the birds that are inside. The, the birds really don't want to hang out on their porch. And so if you're looking for a nest box, it should be just brown, have a just big enough hole, no perch out front, and you can put it up on a tree or hanging from a fence post, all sorts of places around your house. And you get to watch the mother and father bird fly in and feed their babies. And it's just so much fun to just watch birds do their thing. This nest box right here, we have it at Hidden Villa because we are helping the birds, but the birds also help us. There are bluebirds that would live in this nest box. And all these fields behind us are full of food that we might eat or that our animals might eat. And the bluebirds eat bugs that would eat that food. And so they keep our animals healthy, our farm animals healthy, and they keep our food healthy. And so the birds give something back too. So if you were really interested in helping out birds, there are plenty of organizations besides Hidden Villa, people that are helping out. So the Audubon Society, also the Bluebird Nesting Society. These are all groups of people that are doing their best to help these cavity nesters and all kinds of birds uh, stay alive and stay flying and just all the things that birds do that people love to see. So my final question for you is why would you want to help birds? I'm Logan from Hidden Villa and that's what's good in the woods.